Hello everybody, it's Tyrone here from Wibby Gaming and welcome to a tutorial on how to use and install P-Tweaks. Now, P-Tweaks is a plugin which helps eliminate lag on the server side. For example, uh, P-Tweaks will make a server using 1 gig of RAM go to 300 megabytes on average. Uh, as a case scenario here, if you're running a server with a low amount of RAM, say for example you can't afford a dedicated server which has got a lot of, a lot of RAM, say you've only got 1 gig, and you want to run a lot of plugins, a good amount of players, and you want to you want to make it responsive, for example. Um, then this is a good plugin for you. This will help reduce your RAM usage. Uh, have you about you know, ten players online with about twelve plugins, and there won't be any chat lag. So this this is a good plugin for you if you want that, and you haven't got enough money to buy a proper server. So we're going to go ahead and download it. So obviously just press download. and go to your server directory. So once you're in your server directory, just start your server up. And you have a lot of stuff saying ptwix is enabled, blah blah blah. Uh, here, just as a quick example, ptwix set a monster limit, so entity limits such as zombies, skeletons, all of those sort of monsters, to 2500. This helps eliminate excess mobs, which in turn puts more stress on the server, which in turn causes lag. So if we go into our plugins, and when you go into your ptweaks folder you'll find a load of prop files these can be easily opened with any uh, notepad type of program for example i've just used wordpad uh, don't use notepad wordpad would be easier so for example if we go into monster limit we have got some configurations so for example max monsters can be set to any number you want but this is by default set to 2500 and it has been enabled you can just put false there if you don't want it to be used so you've got a few more configs with some items in there so I'm going to go onto my server with ptweaks enabled and I'm going to give you some examples of how well it handles reducing the lag. So just give me a second to load up Minecraft. Alright guys, I'm now in game. So the best way to show you how ptweaks works is to give you a proper example. Now before I go and give you a proper example, I'm going to show you the one command you can use with ptweaks. The one command is ram and it shows you all of the memory listed in megabytes. We've got three in total, so we've got a three of 401 megabytes and a total of 4,000 megabytes, and max memory 4,000 megabytes, of course, and unused of 400. So there is a permission node for that command, and I will put it on as an annotation on the screen now. Uh, this plugin does support most of the major permissions. So, as I said, the best way of showing you how Ptwix works is to give you a pro proper example. Now, Anyone who's used TNT before will know that it obviously lags your server out. Now, uh, bear in mind, I'll just use World Editor. Um, I've just replaced 6,092 blocks with TNT. Now, normally, this would have lagged a server out when it's using a very small amount of RAM. But for today's purposes, uh, P-Tweaks will help prevent that. So I'm just going to set it off. And bear in mind, there will be a considerable amount of client lag because that is inevitable. Right, let's go. So all the CDs have been setting off, and there you go, here comes the client lag. But normally by now, this server would have crashed. Uh, as you know, we said, connection lost, end of stream, blah blah blah. So we just wait for the majority of the TNT to blow out of the way. And as you can see, the server is still, uh, it's still being responsive. The chunks are being updated properly. And it's showing the actual explosions. So that is fantastic. It actually updates properly and as you can see the server didn't crash once.